Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of the DCL Show, coming to you live from the Bob Varley Studio in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Pete Werner, joined by four awesome friends. Mr. Jimmy Valdez, producer from C. Disney. Hi, everyone. Miss Melissa Gill from C. Disney. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> She's so adorable, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. My head's going to explode. Um, the lovely... Ms. Mary Jo Mulatto Willie. Hello, everybody. And of course, senior editor for CDisney.com, Mr. Federico Argar. Hola, hola. <laughs> and uh, back in the nook, our producer, Mr. Craig Williams. Oh, hoy, hoy. And off camera, but still in the room, is Lindsay Knoll. <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> Hanging out. Um, so we did uh, five things. Uh, DCL does right a little earlier on in our our marathon show and if you're watching this separately uh, this is being recorded during our 10-hour marathon to raise money for give kids the world so if this seems off or different than our normal studio shows that's why um, but a little earlier on we did uh, five things DCL does right gets right this time we're gonna talk about five things DCL misses doesn't get right and i just want to point out for the audience watching who know who know me um i've basically been on camera now for <laughs> seven hours eight, almost eight hours with little breaks here and there but um i also just came back from a cruise yesterday i didn't get a lot of sleep last night and I'm going to talk about things I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why Lindsay wanted to. Lindsay wanted to be in the room to witness rants, because there's a rant coming. There's a rant coming, um, and it's a well-deserved rant. But I'm going to make you wait. <laughs> you wait. Um. And of course, you have it. You have that one at the top of the I list. I know, but uh, one of the ones you came up with, Mary Jo. Yes. Um, and that I've talked about before. That I don't like is the reasoning behind when your when your servers in the main dining room are constantly asking you if everything is okay. Mm. That's because they are penalized. They are penalized if when you get that survey, you put anything other than excellent for your servers, for the dining room, for the quality of the food, for things like that. Now, during these cruises, oh, I'm going to get worked up. <laughs> I'm about to wake up. During these cruises, you become attached. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, you become attached to your your, your ser the, the servers. Yeah. They're great personalities. There's a reason they were chosen for these jobs. <laughs> and them having to beg, because it's really what it is, begging for all fives on the survey. Is Disney using emotional blackmail to kid themselves into believing their food is good? Now, right now it is. Okay? Right now, with the ships at 40% capacity, the food is fantastic in the main dining rooms. But if you're like me and you've sailed Disney before, before the pandemic, you know that isn't always the case. So rather than really know what the problem is, they put this pressure on the servers to get people to give them all fives. And I got, even for me, now, now in this case, in this cruise, honestly, the one I, we just got off, mm -hmm. I had no trouble doing all fives. No trouble at all. It was fantastic. It was fantastic. But when it's not, what am I supposed to do? Disney wants me to lie to them so they don't have to do anything about it. That's what that's about. And putting that on those cast members is unconscionable, and they should be ashamed of themselves. It's not like these guys don't work hard enough as it is. 
But I had one server tell me the reasoning behind that is because um, they're responsible to make sure you walk out happy. They're not cooking the damn food. <laughs> they're not cooking the damn food. Oh, well, what we're supposed to do is get you something else until you are happy. Well, sometimes I get so pissed off at how bad the food is. I'm just like, just take it away. I'm, I don't want anything. I'm fine. I had my appetizer. Like I said, this cruise, that's not the case. And if they can figure out a way to keep this quality and, and, and that incredible, incredible level of quality on the food, okay. But basically, every single person that's ever done a Disney cruise knows how they are begged at the end of the cruise, the last night of the cruise, to please, please give all fives. That's because... It reflects poorly on the servers, even if you think the food wasn't good. And like it's emotional blackmail. It's emotional blackmail. So Disney can say, oh, we get all five stars on our food. Yeah. And no, you don't. Look ahead, ma'am. MJ. Did you call me ma'am? No, I said, no. Ahead, ma'am. I said MJ. I to say what? It's very polite of you, Pete. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, ma'am. <laughs> Um, what I also noticed... Talk, lady. <laughs> that's, that's more like it. Yeah. <laughs> now I know you like me. Um, no, one of the things I noticed on this cruise is we already knew the waiters had... It, like like you said, the waiters, we, we become attached to them. So we've kind of become familiar with them since they follow us all through the nights. And they were telling us how gratified they were to come to work, right? So there's, we know that they're appreciative that they have a job on, on the cruise ship. But yet, every time we turned around, we'd be in the middle of a conversation. Each one had to ask us several times if we were enjoying our food. Mm. So I found that to be intrusive. And, and typically, when that kind of thing happens, I'm more apt to say, if you ask me one more time, I'm going to put a negative comment because mm. you're bothering me now. You know, which And it's such an unfair pressure to put on them to make sure we're happy at every step when they don't need to do that because they're doing their best anyway. Mm. And... Um, I think that they're already trying to make everything good. They ask us at the beginning, the head waiter knew all of our names by which, which I was surprised. I mean, kind of shocked and happy about the assistant server by the second night, she already knew what we wanted to drink. And so they're, this is like, they're well-trained in what they do. Mm. They make our crews comfortable and yet they're, they have to, it's, it almost seems a little desperate to me that they have to keep asking us if we're okay and then ask us on the last night or before the last night that we eat at their tables, you know, to make sure that, you know, we sincerely put the best score for them. Not that they're pressured for it, mm -hmm. but it's very important that we put the best score. So I, I was really bothered by that. Yeah, no, it, it, it is. It's Disney using these servers as emotional blackmail on their yeah. guests. Yeah. And let's just call it what it is. And I love I love Disney Cruise Line. But that's something I don't love. And that's something they need to change. They need to change that. They do ask you in the survey if the servers uh, like ask you to do perfect scores. And if they do that, it's because they know that they ask the service to have perfect scores. Because otherwise, they wouldn't care. I mean, right? right? Yeah. Like, well, you know, here's here's a funny thing. I have I have a tip, Disney. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to get a five on your food, cook five food. That's the quickest way to get a perfect score is to cook good food. Cook five food. I think that I'm going to have a T-shirt made up. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a five, cook a five. Okay? Because if you serve me a three, you're going to get a three. And stop putting that on your servers. Stop putting that on your servers. It's a bad look. Mm -hmm. It's a bad look. All right. Number two. And this. Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. <laughs> Coffee. Yeah, I think that as uh, hot brown water is okay. <laughs> That's not but coffee. As coffee is horrible. And, so you know, sorry. 
swill is the word. And I haven't had to use swill in a long time. Because I, I am a fan of Joffrey's. I am a fan of Joffrey's. What I'm not a fan of is coffee concentrate, whether it's Joffrey's, Nescafe, uh, or, or whatever else they, they, they cook up. Because that's what this is. This is coffee concentrate <laughs> with hot water added. Um, yeah. And, oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. It's awful. Now, the Cove Cafe, that has great coffee. Mm-hmm. That has great coffee. You pay for it. And so this, I think this is a situation where they intentionally mm. keep that oh. coffee. I, I like wouldn't that. be surprised because, because that coffee was not good. Every person I talked to that was, you know, part of the, part of our 4 a.m. club that was sitting up in the smoking area, <laughs> <laughs> um, we were, you know, the first thing to open was the uh, was the, the 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 public coffee station, mm-hmm. where they have to have a cast member manning it because you're not allowed to do any self service mm-hmm. as part of the new protocols, and. So at six o'clock, out of desperation, because we've been up for two hours and we want a cup of coffee, and the fact that the and, and you, when you tell them, where can I get a cup of coffee? And oh, we're going to get to that in a second. We'll get to that in a second because <laughs> um, that's another complaint. But you get that coffee and you drink it, and you're like, ugh. Yeah. It remind and like the minute I taste it, I'm like, oh boy, it's 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 Walt Disney World 2002. Um, <laughs> And because that's what they used to do at Disney World. It was the coffee concentrate, and they were charging ridiculous amounts of money for it. They had to be embarrassed into changing that. Um, and so then at 6.30, when Cove Cafe opens, you can go in there and pay for it. So it's like, here's the crap, <laughs> and now we've primed you. We've primed you to go into Cove. Yeah. Um, but really, the coffee is an embarrassment. And you want to consider yourself a luxury cruise line. Mm-hmm. And the coffee you serve is an embarrassment. And some of these decisions, some of these things are the results are the result of executives not genuinely experiencing their own product. Because if I was a Disney executive and I went on to a ship I was responsible for and I drank that coffee, I'd be asking my, I'd, I'd be asking questions. Mm. I'd be, and like, you know, Federico, you're from Colombia, for God's <laughs> sakes. It's the, the birthplace of coffee. Um, that's not coffee. <laughs> that's, not, that's what he said all week, all, uh, all the crews. That's not coffee. It's water with <laughs> you had to something ask that tea. I don't want to ask what it is. You had to ask for tea. He had to ask for I, tea I, I ended up asking for tea, uh, 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 yeah, every time, unless I went to the concierge lounge, but they right. have actual coffee or mm-hmm. Coke. Right. And I'm going to find the link, Craig, just remind me, uh, to a, a coffee place in Hawaii that I order from all the time that does Kona coffee tea bags. And that's what I'm bringing from now on. Mm. That's what I'm bringing from now on. I'm just going to give me some water. <laughs> I've got my own tea bag, my own Kona tea bag, and I'll make my own coffee that way Um, because it makes a great cup of coffee. It makes a great cup of coffee. All right. Something that really bothered me, I had had trouble this cruise, like sleeping in. I kept getting up at 4 o'clock, and I don't know why. That doesn't normally happen to me. Nowhere to get anything to drink. Nowhere. And that's one of the perks of the Disney cruise, right? Right. Is that supposed to be 24 hours? Yes. Mm. Um, And they say, oh, well, you can order room service. At 4 o'clock in the morning, you want me to order room service and wake everybody in my stateroom up? Why is that my only option? They have the stations on deck 11 on either side that they can... You know, we can get something, but you're not allowed to serve yourself, which mm-hmm. I get, okay? Mm-hmm. They have all sorts of crew members running around at 4 o'clock in the morning. Nobody st- – have one person stationed there. They could take turns. They could do <clears throat> half-hour shifts or hour shifts. 
exactly. to do that. Do something. Mm -hmm. Have somebody stationed there so that if you have a guest at 3 o'clock in the morning, wants a soda, wants a cup of your crappy-ass coffee, <laughs> <laughs> they can get it without having to call room service and wake up their family. Again, decisions made by people who aren't experiencing their product. That had me, that had me going. Because I went down to get services. I'm like, are you telling me there's no place on this ship right now where I can get a cup of coffee? Oh, room service. What? So I, I wake somebody up? To come to my order? Or what do I do? Do I... Whisper into them. <laughs> Can you bring me some coffee? And then stand outside like a vagrant? <laughs> stand outside my stateroom waiting for them to come? I mean, what, what is with that? And then, then there's the group of people waiting at the coffee station in the morning for it to open, for somebody to come. And it looks like, it looks like vagrants waiting at, a, at the door of a soup kitchen for it to open. <laughs> These are not the experiences I want on a Disney cruise. Now, look, you're great. You're great. Just I refer back to my last show that in many ways you are the best cruise line I've ever experienced. I prefer Disney over every other cruise line I've been on. Not that I haven't found redeeming things about other cruise lines. And I'm an adult with no kids. I'm not experiencing this through the eyes of my kids. There's a reason I've done 40 plus of these cruises. So I do love the product. These are things they need to fix, in my humble opinion. <laughs> <laughs> now we work our way slowly <laughs> down the long, dark corridor to the big one. The DCL app. Now... What the actual <laughs> with this app? I, I mean, look, in, 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 in theory, it's a good idea. Mm -hmm. you, but this is Disney's thing. They push people. They push people to use these apps. They force you to use these apps. And then the technology doesn't work and you're at guest services trying to get it fixed you're trying to figure out because you have to use the app you have to use the app mm -hmm. did anybody have a good experience with that app no and i had a, a like a problem every time i, I open up the the app and i try to contact feather because that's the only way you can do it unless you have wi-fi you you have to like I add the chat ID the, the, that you want to add. And the problem was that every time I opened the app, I had to do it all over again. So I had to keep adding Fede, for, for example, every time I open the app. And that shouldn't be the case. You, you should be able to open the app and have the contact information you need. So yeah, that, that, that was one of the, the main issues for me. And the thing that it kept like, yeah, like uh, uh, telling me that there's no connection and I couldn't use it. So yeah, no, I didn't have a good experience. And on the other hand, something that we always say is that there's no excuse for them for um, not having other languages. You know, like uh, so many apps have language languages options now. There's no excuse for Disney f to not have uh, Spanish or Portuguese or yeah, you know. French, other 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 languages for there the, were a it, lot of Spanish speaking people on yeah. the, on the cruise. And right. If inclusivity is going to be one of your main values, you you need to um, have the option to, you know, have an, a tool that is very important for your vacation in other mm -hmm. languages because right. otherwise, it's yeah. useless. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can force people to be all English. Yeah, some people who speak English. Um, so yeah, that's that's not cool. Yeah. No. But what you were saying about the the ideas that you can use is a great idea that mm -hmm. you can use the app to chat 
with other people in your stay right. room and without just, having Wi-Fi. I just want to say, just so people understand, um, every user on the app is assigned an ID. So mm -hmm. if I want to chat with Federico, I need to get his user ID and add that in mm -hmm. to the chat. And this is what they're talking about. But when you open the app sometimes, uh, the state room, your reservation gets unlinked. Yeah. So you need to put your ID, again, your state room, your number, uh, your names and everything. Date of mm -hmm. birth. Uh, exactly. Yeah. And then you lose the information of the people you already linked, exactly. uh, the chat ID. So if you don't have it written on your cell phone or on your hand or I don't know, whatever <laughs> they want to do, um, you don't have a, a way to communicate to other with other people. Yeah. And that's a problem. Mm -hmm. And this is all... This whole issue, in a, in a way, is, uh, under, is, is underlined, caused by, even, the main problem. Internet. Mm. <clears throat> I have been sailing Disney Cruise Line since 1999. I think, I'm pretty sure it was 99, my first cruise. And when Wi-Fi came on the ships, I forgot when that was. Maybe... 2008, I don't know. I'm just taking a guess. This is the same system. Okay? It's the same system. It's the same login screen. It's the same everything. Um, when I tell you this is the absolute worst internet I have ever experienced in a public place in my entire life, that's saying something. Constantly dropping connections. Never being able to connect to what I need to connect to. It's a crapshoot. It's a crapshoot. When Carnival gave me speeds that rivaled fiber on their ship, Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, all these other cruise lines that have premium internet. And Disney has the audacity, the sheer brass balls to charge what they charge for this crap that never, ever, ever works right. So here's a newsflash, Disney. We are now more than ever going to a remote workforce. We are all connected to our devices, whether you like it or not. And not being able to use our devices for whatever reason we choose whether it's we're addicted to social media or we have to check in on our kids or we have a business to run or we have work to do, whatever our reasons, your internet makes the experience of being on your ship unpleasant. It makes it frustrating. It adds unnecessary stress into an experience that is in fact supposed to be a vacation. And you know this, and I know you know it, because of all the things, of all the details that appear on the survey form you get at the end of your cruise, mm -hmm. you want to know what's not on there? Mm -hmm. Internet service. Sure. Mm -hmm. Because they know on those survey forms, if they, if they get, if the surveys show that, nope, this is not good, they have to change it. They know they're going to be forced to change it. Now, I'm sure it's expensive. I have no idea technically what's involved. But I know your, 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 your ships sat in freaking mothballs for a year and a half. Maybe like, hey, you know what? This would be a really good time. <laughs> this would be a really good time to upgrade this crap. That's another T-shirt. <laughs> a picture of the satellite dish with upgrade this crap. I'll start, I'll start working that design. I want that. <laughs> Those are two, two things I want. I would wear that. <laughs> I, was, I was stressed out because I had to, um, since this cruise was so happily unexpected, I actually had work to do and the 10th where deadlines needed to be done. And the only time that I could connect to my, my work computer was when I tethered to my phone when we were in Nassau. That wasn't even, and I paid for the, I paid for the internet. Um, the largest package, so it was $89 for the largest package. And if you don't log out, even if your phone's shut, it still eats up the... Oh, yeah. It, yeah. it still eats it oh, up. Oh, and even when you log out, I've had it, I had it happen. I had it happen on this cruise where I know for a fact I logged out because I've been on this. I've done this before. 
I know. Wait till you see the screen. Log out successful. And I always get that screen. And yet, nonetheless, the next morning I'd wake up and miraculously 200 megabytes of data just disappeared. Mm. Yeah. So our patience for this has run out. It is two, it's 2021, 20, almost 2022. And this is the crap, this 2006 crap is what you're passing off as internet? Come on. It's absolutely obscene, and there's no excuse for it, none whatsoever, when every other cruise line does better. Every other cruise line kicks your ass when it comes to internet. And that's just a fact. So it's, I know you got stuff going on. I know you're trying to, you know, come bring, bring your way out of the pandemic. Sorry this comes at a bad time, but <laughs> if you're going to charge for it, if you're going to charge for this crap, then get it right. Then get it right. Otherwise, make it free. And then if it doesn't work, okay, it was free. Yeah. In this case, I'm paying for it. It's chewing data after you log out. Mm. When you're logged in, it doesn't work right. It doesn't work half, no, not even half the time. That's giving them too much credit. It doesn't work 75% of the time. You know what concerned me is also is that we didn't have a full ship and we still had problems with the internet. Oh, yeah. What about when you get a full ship? What's going to happen? Oh, my God. I couldn't imagine. And I even thought when we were on Castaway Key. And I got back on the ship, and a lot of people were still on the island. I'm like, oh, internet's going to be blazing fast. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't even work with um, Disney's website or my Disney experience. I, was, I thought, okay, so it's the same company. Then maybe that is going to work. No, that was even worse. <laughs> you can open the Disney's wow. Disney World website. <laughs> well, I posted something. I think it was on my Facebook uh, page, uh, at Disney Pete, if you want to follow me. Um I posted a screenshot of my, me trying to go to the Disney Cruise Line website on my phone, on their Wi-Fi. I was on a Disney cruise ship on Disney Wi-Fi, trying to go to the Disney Cruise Line <laughs> website, and it didn't work. I mean, come on. That's pretty damning. That's pretty damning. It's time to fix the internet. It's time to fix the internet. And if you don't want to fix it, then I make a challenge to you, Disney, if you're watching, which I'm sure you somebody is. <laughs> you go do your work for a week and not use the crew connection. Use the guest connection. Do your work for a week on that ship. And then come back and tell me, oh, this is great. Experience your own product if you want to understand what we go through. Your job is to remove stressors, not induce them. And your internet is the biggest inducer of stress. And look, there are people say, oh, you know what? I go on a cruise. I want to put my phone away. God bless. I own three internet businesses, for God's sakes. I don't have the luxury of doing that. I have a 91-year-old mother. I don't have the luxury of turning my phone off for a week. If there is one thing that makes me question a Disney cruise, it's that. And I have made decisions not to go on a cruise in the past. If I knew it was going to be an intense work week and I was going to require access to my laptop, to Internet. I would have to do that also if... if, If I were in a case like that where there were things that had to be done and I had to get on my work computer... Like on one day, I would reschedule my cruise. I wouldn't be able to do it. It was very stressful. Yeah, it, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. So those are five things Disney Cruise Line doesn't get right. Always asking if everything is okay, begging for an excellent rating because they're putting pressure on their servers, the DCL app, the availability, the availability of drinks after hours, the coffee, the swill <laughs> that is their coffee and their damn stinking internet. So there you have it. That's what we think. And that is going to do it for this episode of the DCL show. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you again next time.